It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to this elementary edition of the Science Bowl. Let's meet our team today, six outstanding scholars. Here they are. First, from Melwood Elementary School, would you please welcome to our program, Nadine Humphreys. In the center seat, Zaria Sparrow. Joining her, Richard Jackson. And from Oakcrest Elementary, here they are, James Culp, Malik McDermott, and Jorge Ramirez Ortiz. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier questions worth five and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, one of these two good-looking teams will come back to play Scotchtown Hills for the chance to move on to the quarterfinals. Let's make sure everything works properly. Melwood, Zaria, would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you, young lady. Good luck to you, to Richard and to Nadine. And Malik, would you try yours? All right, thank you. Good luck to you, to Jorge and to James. And I think Jorge is pushing the buzzer. Is that what's happening over there? I thought a little ventriloquism happening. All right, good luck to both teams. We go alphabetically, M before O. So Zaria, let's play the bowl. Give me a category and a number to start us out. I think like green things for 10. Green things for 10. I'm sorry? Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points to start us out. All right, teams. In the song America the Beautiful, it starts out, oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of what plant? Amber waves of what plant, Melwood? Grain. Yes, ma'am. Grain. Grain. Grain, that's right, for amber waves of grain. Thank you, Nadine, for your assist on that. Okay, red again. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, the... For five points, in Yosemite National Park, they've recently discovered a plant that smells like stinky feet. It does so for a very good reason, because it's trying to attract what to it to do what? Melwood. I think flies to eat it. Because usually flies are attracted to stinky things. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think it's flies. To, to do eat. what? Um, pollinated. You got that right. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. All right, a fly cannot resist a stinky foot. All right, go again. Red. Mm, how about zoo parade for five? Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, this bird is familiar to most people as the one that pops out of a Swiss clock and makes a sound. It. Yes, Oakcrest. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Cuckoo, that's right. Cuckoos are also brood parasites. They lay their eggs in other birds' nests and let somebody else raise their young. Mm, strange lifestyle. Go green. Um, Malik? Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, the difference between methamphetamine, the molecule, it's an illicit drug, and a common decongestion is just two of these small chemical building blocks. What are the smallest chemical building blocks that you put together to make molecules? Melwood. Oh, it's either, I think it's atoms. Yes, ma'am? Atoms. Atoms, absolutely right. You put atoms together to make molecules, molecules together to make macromolecules. Good answer. Red. Um, how about body systems for 10? Yes, ma'am. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, 
Nowadays, you can't turn on the television without seeing something about vampires. You read books about vampires. Vampires all have fangs, which are really modified. What kind of tooth in your mouth? The fang is what kind of modified tooth? Melwood. Canine teeth? Canine teeth, absolutely. Or sometimes called the eye teeth as well. The better to bite you with. All right, red, please. Table size for five. Hello. Zaria? Yeah, dateline size for five. Dateline size for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, you knew it had to be true. Close examination of the thigh bone of the Tyrannosaurus rex revealed recently that it is closely related to what modern day bird that we all eat. Melwood. Quail, quail, quail. Chicken. Chicken. Melwood. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken, that's right. They probably tasted like chicken too. Dozen everything. All right. 100 points for Melwood. Oh, Chris, 55. Come on, guys, get your act together over there. Ladies and gentlemen, go. Zaria. Body systems for five. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams. If you don't remember something, it's said to go in one what and out the other. Melwood. One ear. One yeah, ear. in one ear and out the other. Ear. In one ear and out the other. Absolutely right. In one ear and out the other. It doesn't stop for anything. Out it goes. All right, red again. Oh, oh let's get physical. Ten. Hmm? Let's get physical. Ten. Yeah. Let's get physical. Um, let's get physical for ten. Let's get physical for ten points, teams. These large sheets of ice are disappearing from places like the Arctic, Greenland, Glacier. Oak Crest. Glaciers. Glaciers is right. Absolutely good answer. Green. Go. Oak Crest. Malik. Science potpourri for fifteen. Potpourri for 15 points, teams. Listen carefully. This is a multiple choice question. We all know about John and. Kate plus eight, the TV show. John and Kate first had a set of twins, then they had six more babies. Did they have a set of sextuplets, septuplets, or octuplets? Oak Crest, who's the spokesperson? Sextuplets is right, good. Six babies plus two makes eight, green. Yes, sir. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, recently NASA fired a huge... Melwood. They fired a missile for so they could find uh, water. frozen water on, on the moon. Uh, water on the moon. Yes. It was a missile. More information, please. They shot a missile at it to see if one day they could live on the moon. So and they, they could, could if moon. what? There was there water, was water on, the on the planet. planet. Mm, not I, quite, not quite. Oh, you, you gave us all the information. I'm sorry, Millwood. Oh, Crest, as we just learned from Richard, NASA fired that missile at the moon, caused an explosion. They were looking for water. If they do find water, and it hasn't been proven yet, that will mean what fuel is present for astronauts to use once they get there. Then we use the water to make rocket fuel for rockets. Hydrogen? <laughs> okay, I, I, again, I need one person to answer. Who is the spokesperson? I need to get an answer from a spokesperson. Who will that be? All right, now what is your answer? Hydrogen. Hydrogen is the right answer. That's what I want to hear. Hydrogen as in H2O. All right, the buzzer has rung. That means we've come to the first round of questioning, and it is a tight game. Melwood 105, Oakcrest 95. Don't you go away. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Nice to have you with us today. Hope you're enjoying this game at home. Six outstanding young people playing our game here today. And you can see on the score how closely matched they are. Let's find out about them. And we'll go first to Melwood. Nice to see you guys back again. Melwood has not been on our show in many, many years. And I know Miss Guttrich is so proud of you guys to be here today. Zaria, tell us about Melwood. Who's your principal? My principal is Mr. Carrington Smith. Uh, and I know he's out there rooting for you. And Miss Guttrich is your sponsor. Did you have any other sponsors? Miss Mason. Yes, and I know she's out there. She's a big fan of what you're doing here today. And you had some alternates on your team? Lillian Mulkey and D Delano Dunmore. And we'll bring them both out so that everyone can meet them in just a few moments. Zaria, tell me about yourself. What do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a stockbroker because I'm good with people and numbers. Ah, and you need both, don't you? You know, you've got to convince people that your faith in a certain stock is real and that they should follow your lead. And what do you do in your spare time? I play the piano. Yeah, and you told me you've been playing now for three years. Is that right? Yes. Wonderful. Uh, if someone asks you to play something for them, what do you play? 
um, repeat the question? Like if someone comes to your house and your piano's there and they say, oh, would you play something for us, honey? And you say, okay, what's your favorite tune to play? Do you have a favorite? No, because all the, the pianos, the songs that I play are really great, so I have so, I so they're choose. all equal. You know, it's like asking for your favorite child. They're all wonderful, right? All right, you're playing a real nice game. You keep it up. Nadine, you're playing a terrific game. Where do you come by all your science knowledge? Um, usually most of them come, like, from the things that my dad does since we are trying to fix up the house right now. And mm -hmm. our, we have an uncle who... Um, does stuff with electricity and things. Boy, isn't that wonderful? A project like that, it involves so much science. You've got physics, you've got chemistry, you've got engineering. That's a great answer. It's a great answer. What do you want to do someday? Um, I want to either be an artist, an author, a fashion designer, or a lawyer. That's right. And we were talking earlier, there's no reason she can't do all of those things, either the same time or in sequence. Keep up your good work. Richard, nice to have you here, young man. Tell me about yourself. You're a sportsman, are you not? Yes, yeah. I like to play baseball, basketball. Those are my two major sports, but I also like to play other sports such as soccer mm -hmm. and other sports. And I know you're a pitcher and you play in the outfield as well. And uh, if you're not playing sports, what are you doing? I either, I'm either playing the piano or playing video games. Wonderful, that's right. You and Z uh, Zaria have the piano in common. What do you want to do when you get older? When I get older, I either want to be a basketball player or get my doctor and become a teacher. Tremendous. And you had told me you wanted to teach science or math. Is that right? Good ambitions. Whatever happens. Fine young man. Oak Crest, nice to have you guys here. Three fine young men over here. Malik, tell us about Oak Crest. Who's your principal? Ms. Robinson. Yes, indeed. I've talked to her recently, and Ms. Clark is here. You're a very proud and accomplished sponsor. Any other sponsor other than Ms. Clark? Ms. Ibuma. That's right, and she's out there, too. She's got a lot invested in you guys. Malik, it's nice to have you here. You were here last year, and the experience shows you play a real nice game. Did you have any alternates on your team? Imani Kasembe. Wonderful, and we'll meet the alternate a little bit later. And someday, we're going to see you doing what? I'm either going to be a scientist or a lawyer. Or a lawyer. You have a good head on your shoulders. I know you'll be successful, whatever you try to do. And James, James, someday we're going to see your name on the highway because you're going to have your own food franchise, right? Yes. We're going to James's for ribs. And uh, we wish you luck. Entrepreneurial spirit. I respect that. What do you do in your spare time, James? Uh, normally, I go biking. I play football. Yeah. Normal yeah. stuff, huh? Yeah, Normal, good like outdoor stuff. That's right. Keep exercising. Jorge, nice to have you here. I know you're interested in science. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you hope to be a scientist someday. How'd you get interested? What fascinates you about science? Well, when I was about seven, I once read a book about dinosaurs. Mm. And I thought it would be really cool to go excavating and looking for dinosaurs. Then as I got older, I thought about it. And I thought I want to do chemistry and physics because those are, those are really challenging and I like a challenge. Uh, and, and, you know, finding dinosaurs is a challenge, too, and hopefully you'll be able to maybe do a little bit of both as you go on. But I like your confidence, and I like uh, how clear-headed you are in your thinking. So keep up your good work. Let's get back to our game. Melwood 105, Oak Crest 95. Last correct answer came from the green team. You're 10 points behind. Malik, start us out. Lots of points to give away yet. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, there is a maneuver called the M1 maneuver, which is an exercise that involves a lot of grunting and screaming. Not only does it tighten and tone your muscles, but it squeezes these largest types of blood vessels in your body. What are they? Oak crest. Arteries? Arteries, absolutely right. Your arteries are squeezed, and that contributes to good circulation and better health. We have almost a tie score. You have a five-point advantage. Green, go. Let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. The big one in that category, teams. Recently, a giant ring heretofore unseen was found around Saturn. It was discovered through a telescope that uses what I initialed portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that we associate with heat. That we associate with heat. I initialed for 25 points, Oak Crest. Oh, Ion. Yes, sir. Ion. ion? Ion, not ion. Good try. What part of the electromagnetic spectrum I initial that we normally associate with heat was the kind of telescope that was used to discover this new ring around Saturn? Melwood, what do you think? Mm. 
What do you think, Nadine? Do you think it's indigo? Good try. Infrared. Infrared, like it's an infrared goggle or camera. Try again, please. Green. Let's get that was a tough question. Science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, if a doctor is trying to find out how healthy your heart is, he will give you a test that is, has the same name. It is a synonym for anxiety. What kind of test are you going to get on your heart, Ocrest? Yes. ADD? Not ADD. Melwood, a synonym for the word anxiety is the name of the kind of test that you get to see how healthy your heart is. Let's see. What kind of test do they give you for your heart? Anxiety. What do you think? Excitement. Correct answer is a stress test. A stress test. Stress and anxiety. Go green again. No points. Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, thousands of these huge constricting stakes that have been kept as pets have been released into the Everglades and they're wreaking havoc on the ecosystem. Melwood. They're like anacondas because okay, passing it on to me. Yes. Um, I think it's the um, anacondas. Not the anacondas. Oakcrest. What snakes that have been kept as pets, their large constricting snakes, have been released by pet odors into the Everglades and then out wreaking havoc in that ecosystem? Oakcrest? The boa? Pythons. Pythons. Go again, green. Green, please. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, typhoons that hit places like Japan and China are equivalent to what other kinds of storms that hit us here in the Western Hemisphere. Oh, Chris? Hurricanes. Hurricanes. Hurricanes, that's right. A hurricane is the equivalent of a typhoon. Go green. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25, the big one in that category. Teams, if in your science fair project, listen carefully, if you are testing different kinds of popcorn to see which one pops best, you've got three different kinds. But in the course of your experiment, you use different heating sources, you heat them for different amounts of time, you're introducing too many, what, V-initialed? Melwood? Variables. Variables. Variables, that's right. You need to have all those variables controlled. That got you 25 points. That puts you back in the game with a 10-point lead. Nadine, thank you again for your assist. Richard, Zaria, go. Melwood. Zoo parade for 10 points. Look at, the ca look at the monitor in the studio, please, for this question. Teams, because of Pinocchio, this chirping insect is now regarded as a very friendly bug. Melwood? Cricket. 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 That is Jiminy Cricket. Absolutely right. Good. All right. From Pinocchio. Red again. Super parade for 15. Green things for 15. Yep. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, it is during the fall during that this green substance stops being produced in leaves and stems. In the fall, Melwood? Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, that's right. And that causes those other pigments, the reds, the oranges, and the yellows, to rise to the fore in that beautiful fall foliage. All right. Come on, guys. Get back in here. You're close. Zaria. Super 15. Zuparade for 15. Zuparade for 15 points. Teams, when large numbers of animals like the American buffalo or the wildebeest in Africa travel great distances in search of food, those movements are called what? They're called what, Ocrest? Stampede. stampede. Not stampedes. Good try. Those movements of those large herds in search of food are known as what, Melwood? Migrations. Migrations. That's right. The great migrations. Good. Red. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's get physical. Yeah. Yes, please? Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, your question is as followed. If someone has a lot of potential, but they need some refinement, they're often described as what kind of precious stone in the rough? Millwood. Diamond in the rough. Diamond in the rough. A diamond in the rough. That's right. You just need to be polished up a little bit before you can let everybody see your true qualities. All right. Red again. Day one. Day one. Day one. Science for five. Yes, please? Five. Science potpourri for five. Science potpourri for five. Science potpourri for five points. Teams, we all know the television show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? But on Nickelodeon, there's another game show for kids. Oh, Crest? Brain Surge. Brain Surge, that's right. And if you don't get the right answer, down the brain drain you go. All right, you would never go there. Good green, go. 
Green things for 25? Green things for 25. All right, the big one in that category, teams. If you have cut flowers in a vase, make sure you add a spoonful of sugar because since the plants no longer have green leaves, they cannot perform what food making process? Oh, Crest? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, that's right. They can't photosynthesize anymore on their own. All right, our score 175, 150. It's a horse race. Green, go. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, here's your question. Christopher Columbus's ships were plated with copper in order to prevent what green plants from attacking Millwood? Um, I think it's algae. <laughs> Algae. Algae is absolutely right because the algae could help to destroy the timber on the ships. All right, you guys are hot. Go, Zaria. Daylight times with 15. How about to pray for 15? Yeah, daylight times. Where are we going? Daylight times. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline signs for 15 points. Team, sad story. A teenage girl is now paralyzed because she ate a hamburger that was tainted with what E initialed? Millwood. <clears throat> e initialed. Yes, please. Uh, e Let me go to Ocrest. Ocrest, this young lady, this teenager, unfortunately ate a hamburger tainted with what E initialed bacterium that left her paralyzed. E. coli? E. coli is what I want. That's it. Good. Good comeback. Green. Body systems for 25? Body systems, 25. The big one in that category. Teams, two-part answer. Listen carefully. If you bite into a fiery jalapeno pepper, you have excited what two kinds of receptors inside your mouth that let you know you've done something risky? Oak crest. Two kinds of receptors. All right, Malik. Taste buds and um, nerves. No, I think you missed the point there, Melwood. You've bitten into this fiery jalapeno pepper. What two receptors in your mouth have let you know you've done something really risky? Okay. What do you think? Two things. I think it's your taste buds and your saliva. Mm -mm. The receptors are the pain receptors and the heat receptors. It's hot and it's painful, but let me bite it again. Go, green. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points, teams. Recently in Indonesia, an earthquake offshore caused one of these tidal waves to inundate Ocrest. Tsunami. Tsunami, that's right. The tsunami came crashing ashore the same area that, uh, that happened just a few years ago on Christmas. 185, 195. We have four questions left. Advantage green. One minute left in the game. Malik? Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, listen carefully. What I initialed body system reacts to the flu virus by filling your lungs with fluid oak crest? Immune. Immune system is right. Yes, good. Go. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Multiple choice question on the monitor. On the monitor, multiple choice question. Teams, you're going to be seeing a whole host of one-celled organisms. They're all the same. Melwood? Bacteria. 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 You're not bacteria. Oh, Chris, what you're looking at are one-celled organisms. Are they, in fact, paramecium, prototypes, or pseudopods? Paramecium? They are indeed paramecium. Yes, indeed. The other two are not wind-celled organisms. Go, Oakcrest. Oh, the buzzer has rung, and it looks like Oakcrest has just done it. We'll double-check that score. Be back with you in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science Boy Bowl. It, it was a nail biter today. Came down to almost the very last question. What great competitors we had here today. High drama and a lot of pride for all of our players. Our final tally today, Melwood 195, Oakcrest 225. Congratulations, gentlemen, James and Malik and Jorge. We're going to see you again, Scotchtown Hills. And standing in the back there, congratulate to Imani, the alternate, and Miss Clark, the very proud and talented sponsor of the Oakcrest team. Melwood, let's see some smiles over here. You guys were ahead for so long, you couldn't have played it any better. And back there, please say hello to their sponsors, Miss Gustrich, Miss Mason, and their alternates as well, Lillian and Delano. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you for watching. Make sure you come back next time for more Science Bowl. Bye now.